Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay and I'm the creator behind My Creative Days. Um, I have a website. I'm here on YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, TikTok, all the places. And today I'm going to share my latest thrift haul with you guys. So um, I'm trying to break these up and kind of show them by week if I have a haul. Uh, as I've said before, it's kind of been slim pickings at my thrift store, so I'm hoping it starts picking up, but I found some fun things over this week, and sorry about the noise, I just didn't unpackage everything just yet. So I feel like this is kind of a bigger haul than what I've been posting recently. So you can check back on my channel and you can, um, you can see my past hauls that I've shared, um, and then always hit the subscribe button so that you're, you won't miss any of the videos. I'm up uploading videos, multiple videos a week. So DIY projects, um, thrifted hauls. I'm taking you thrifting with me, all kinds of fun things. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Okay. So first of all, it is springtime as I'm recording this or getting to be spring. It's the middle of March. So, um, some of the things are, are spring related. These I love. Now I always pick up um, wood accordion, the pegs that have the peg boards on that, or the, sorry, that have the pegs on them, like antique and vintage ones. But these are just as cool. So I have one that's kind of, it, it doesn't look exactly like this by any means, but it doesn't have any pegs on it. And I actually have it hung in our back porch just on a wall. It just adds so much interest. And on that wall, in front of it is our TV. So it's not like I would really hang anything from it anyway. So I don't need the pegs. But also, like, um, you could put these on the back of a shelf if you have, or a cabinet that you decorate. And then just have this kind of be on the back of the shelf and then decorate and put, you know, whatever in front. Um, you definitely could add hooks to these, you know, small hooks if you did want to use them to hang something. But I just loved the wood color um, and the fact that there were two. Um, I've never seen them like this. So I don't know. I don't know if this was one big one at one time, but I like it that it's two. I like, I like that there's two. Okay. Another thing I picked up is... Um, if you ever find these at yard sales, estate sales, um, thrift stores for inexpensive, pick them up. I shared a, sh I think it's a YouTube short, um, a short video on what I like to do with these. So if you just cut off this base just a little bit so that it's flat, it sits flat, they make the most amazing Christmas trees um, around the holidays. So sometimes with these, I mean, they look great inside a canister or something in your kitchen, but um, sometimes when you find a lot of these, they come in all different shapes, sizes, the wood looks different. Um, so you can kind of have, I'm trying to get a few more. I only have a few. Um, so I can really make a collage or like make a, make a little collection of these Christmas trees. You could definitely paint them as well. But all you have to do is shave off this end uh, so that they stand up straight. And then they're like the... I just love vintage decor, and so it's a way to repurpose these. Um, if you find a bunch, they make the best little wood Christmas trees. So try that. This, I have never seen one of these before, um, and it's a half a cup, and it's 24 karat gold. It is a vintage little cup. So um, I will mention here that um, after I was sharing a lot of my hauls on Facebook and, and Instagram, people were asking to buy some of the items that I shared. So I am now picking up items to sell on my shop page. And so I will definitely link that shop page uh, in the descriptions, description below. So make sure to check that out. But I think this is just so fun and it's 24 karat gold, a vintage cup. Um, I've never seen this before. So I grabbed that as well. This little piece, I just, um, I've not even taken the tape off. I just thought it was the cutest little dish. Um, and so obviously you can store things in this, but I just liked the shape. I love just the white color. Um, any little vintage dishes like this are just fun to add to any shelf, any mantle, any decor. Um, just simple, 
just simple. So I love that. Okay, these are super fun. So like I said, it is um, springtime. And so, but to be honest, spring decor isn't really out much um, right now in our thrift stores. Like it's not full of it, but I look for seasonal decor all year round, holiday decor all year round. So we're going into spring. If I found something Christmas, like I will still look through the Christmas stuff because you just never know what you're going to find. But these little, um, little vintage, I just love these little bunnies. So there's a set of four of them. Uh, and again, they were in these, this bag. So at the end of an end cap. So always check these out because you never know what you'll find. I found another bag like this. And I don't love the geese salt and pepper shakers, but these little milk glass salt and pepper shakers, I had to grab it for just for those. So that's why I grabbed it. But again, you just never know what's inside of these bags. And you'll, some stores, they will put them, you know, specific, like it'll be all salt and pepper shakers, or it'll be, you know, just random things here and there thrown into one bag. So definitely take the time to look inside those bags because you just never know. Okay. I really wanted to find a set of these. Look at this little enamel cup. Uh, I looked all over the store. So um, I think I've said it here before, but if you find one of something that you think is a set or, you know, like cups or mugs would be a set or um, candlesticks usually have a pair. Um, if you find one in the store, look around in the other areas that may not be in the cups. Somebody could have picked them up or a worker could have set them in the wrong place. Um, but just look around because, you know, not every time, like this time it didn't work, but um, a lot of times you can find the other pieces or the other set that goes along with it. And if you are somebody that shops thrift stores and you find the set of something or, um, you know what I mean? Like you see, you, you see something in one area of the store that's supposed to be with something else you saw, I'm constantly picking those things up and trying to set them together uh, just for that person that, you know, maybe thinking about something, but if there was a set of something... You know, so if you ever, if you're shopping thrift stores and you find that, put them together for the other shoppers because um, it's just, it's just a nice thing to do if you're a thrifter. So, so swans are a huge, like, there was a huge craze with swans. And right now I'm finding a ton of like vintage swan decor and just like little pieces. But if you have been following me for any time, you know that I love antique and vintage brass. Um, for all seasons, every season. And so when I saw this this piece, I had to grab it. Um, it's just so unique um, and definitely vintage, but uh, I just had to grab it. I thought it was super, super cool. Super heavy too. Okay, this little guy, I thought he was so cute. This little wise old owl bank. Now, I need to look up more about him, but how do you get the money out? I, there's no, there's no, you know, do you have to bust the glass? So I just thought, again, he was super cool. So, and all of this stuff, um, like a lot of this stuff that I'm sharing with you today was all in a cart that was just coming out. So it was kind of, I always... When you kind of find similar things, there was a lot of vintage little that I didn't pick up, but like vintage little, my mom calls them dusters, but you know what I mean? Little things like you could tell it all came out of the same house. And so um, this was all, not all of this, but a lot of, some of the stuff I picked up was all in one cart. So definitely look at those carts when you, when they are bringing them out. Again, this is a thermos that I have not seen in person. I love that it's got, if you can tell, a plaid look to it. Again, these are so great to put out in fall around the holidays, just to make a little vignette with them. Um, and finding some of these older ones with the, a design that I don't normally see has been super fun. I shared another one that I just found, um, I think a couple hauls ago, uh, that I really liked too, that I hadn't seen in person. So I definitely grabbed that. And then I thought this piece was really, really cool. So you can hang it by this. But I like that it had this like um, chicken wire outer piece and then it's got the galvanized like, you know, holder inside. 
Obviously you don't have to love what's in it. You can change it out again. And this is a piece that all seasons, this works for spring, summer, fall, winter. You just changed what's in it. Um, and then it's just one of those decor pieces that can last all year round and it doesn't have to be hard to redecorate for another season or a holiday that's coming up because it's done. You just have to change what's in it. So I love finding pieces like that because it just makes decorating easier. And sometimes I want to decorate, but I don't want to spend four days decorating. I just need easy things. So um, I, one of these things is super heavy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I found these at a charity shop. So let me just show you. Number one, I love old books. I have a problem with old books. Uh, they're pretty. Let me show you the, I let, the colors are super pretty. Would be really pretty in the fall, all year round, but the fall. But they are all <clears throat> music books. And so, um, you know, you definitely could use the pages out of these books for certain things. I know some people are against that, but it is another option with vintage books if you like to do like, um, I see people doing a lot of junk journaling. Um, I have used, I mean, I've picked up uh, old books like this in free boxes at church sales or at yard sales that are literally falling apart. Like that's why they're in the free box. And so I have actually like mod podge drawers of my furniture pieces with the old pages. And um, I'm trying to think, I don't think I've done a cabinet, the inside of like a hutch, but you can use the pages. So even if you find some, you know, old books that are really falling apart, like literally the pages are just falling apart, you can still, the pages are, like these are, they have the best patina. You know, you can tea stain and coffee stain. I was gonna see, I thought there was one of these that had, um, you can tea stain and coffee stain, you know, old pages for sure. But when you can find the real deal, it's just, um, it's just so cool. Another, I, one thing that I love when I find old books is just to see, I should, well, that, <laughs> just to see the people that had it and what they wrote. That bottom part didn't say anything great, but um, they usually, you know, have their names in there and the date or when they got them, but I just, I just love old books. So anyway, I grabbed those. Um, and then anytime that I can find old games, um, these are like the old, uh, you know, mar not marbles, um, dominoes. So old games are always fun when you can find them really inexpensive. These look great in a glass jar or in a dish. Um, you can use them to play games. Um, this old cribbage board uh, as well. So these are so fun to hang. Some of these things, like when I find them, they remind me of Country Living Magazine. So I don't know if you subscribe to that magazine or you see it. You can look online at them too. But they highlight a lot of things like collectors or just, um, just different ways to display things. And so... Uh, like a whole collection of these. And I'm not saying like you have to have a whole wall of them, but I have done um, like the back of a shelf that we have or a cabinet that we have in our dining room uh, in the fall. I've hung these like, you know, in a line or kind of staggered. They just look really cool um, for what I do, the DIY projects, the painting, the furniture, all of that. It's just kind of fun um, to find old brushes like this. I would, I would never use this brush, uh, just because it's not, it's not in great condition, but, but it looks really cool. Like the, the black paints coming off of it, the old wood. I just love that look. So, um, I do grab those when I find them. Another thing that I will always pick up when I find them, old pencil sharpeners. Now we actually have one in our house down here that is from the, the original owners that we bought this house from. And it hangs on a wall. The kids have used it throughout the years. We use it. Um, Gabrielle has her art kind of area close to it. So if she's got a pencil or something, she needs to sharpen. And so Matt's got one on his workbench, an old one. And so when I found this one, I had to bring it home because I just, these are just kind of those nods to just, I mean, this is how we used to do things. And so um, 
I just love to find these pieces. Old like school supplies are just, I don't know, what is that? I used to play school with my sister all the time, or we would play office. My dad had an office growing up in our house and those big calculators, like, oh my gosh, just sit down and push those buttons um, and just like play shop, store or office or, you know, school. I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's my childhood or what, but I just, old school supplies, I just, I just love them. Okay, so now I'm actually going to have to turn this around. So I will turn this around to show you this other piece. Okay, you will have to tell me, um, I love old scales. And so I have never seen one like this. This thing is super heavy. Um, I mean, did people weigh themselves on this? <laughs> I mean, this platform is not very big. My hands are small, and so my foot would not fit on this. I just don't understand what it was for, um, but it would be such a cool, um, let me turn it around. Display piece. So you see how you could set something up here, like on a shelf or whatever, and it's still a scale. So it's not like so massive that it's, you know, I could still use it on top of like a buffet or like a, you know, a table, an entry table or something, and then have something up here, you know, a, like this box with flowers or whatever, a stack of old books. Uh, so it's still a great display piece, but I've just never seen one like this. So you guys will have to definitely tell me uh, what you think and if you've ever seen one like this and what it was used for. I mean, it goes up to 200 240 some pounds. So, um, so I don't know, you'll have to let me know. And that is it for this haul. So as always, let me just make sure. Wait a minute, there's something else in here. I loved this. So this, I'm gonna look up. Some of these things I really wanna look up. Um, and just kind of maybe get more. It's like a milk glass, but if it's a soap dish, it's that's the kind of size it is. It's so pretty. But again, it doesn't have to be used as that. It can grab your, you know, hold your change at the end of the day, your rings, your jewelry, um, your keys. It's just so pretty. So I grabbed that as well. That's officially it. So as always, after I share these hauls, I'd like to hear what your favorite find is. Um... What is my favorite find? That scale has me guessing. Like I don't, I don't, I don't know what it was. Um, and, and again, I can look up more information about it. But sometimes, even looking it up on Google, when I hear from you guys, it's you guys are better, better informed, or like you guys have seen one or had one in your family, or you know, if it's something I haven't seen before. Um, I really love these these pieces. I really just love what they can do, like on a wall or on the back of a shelf. And they're not that easy to find. So um, those are those are super fun. The wood Christmas tree piece is also another favorite find of mine because I'm trying to get a collection of those so then I can um, hopefully by the next by Christmas I'll have a nice little a nice little collection of them for the season. So let me know what your favorite find was. And until next time, make sure you subscribe to this channel and um, until my next haul or thrifting adventure or DIY project. Um, I will talk to you guys very soon.